Hello, Whiteland New Life Fellowship. I'm just outside the church, just walking around, thinking about how wonderful it's going to be for us to be able to get back together and to be able to worship collectively together as a body. And that's exciting. The Bible tells us in Psalms 122, David says this in verse 1. He says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm telling you what, I am really getting excited about the opportunity for us to be able to open back up again and to be able to have services. Now, this coming Sunday, May the 10th, we have been given the go ahead to open up service and to open up our church. And I'm excited about that. And I know that there's a lot of people out there also that's excited to get back into church and to, to be able to worship with each other. And it's an exciting time. But also I wanna let you know that, that there's guidelines that we have to follow when we do open back up again. And those guidelines have been actually set by our governor, Governor Eric Holcomb. There's gotta be social distancing that still takes place in our church when we do open back up again. So you're gonna notice when you come in that things are gonna be a little bit different inside the church. Every other pew inside the sanctuary is going to be closed off. That will allow us all to be able to sit six feet apart from one another. And not only that, our coffee areas are going to be shut down for the next couple of months uh, until we're able to really open things back up again and socialize. Uh, our Sunday schools are going to be shut down for, for a while, as well as um, our communion at the end of, of the services. Uh, we are working at trying to uh, get the individual prepackaged communion um, uh, little cups and wafers so that we can have communion again. And then we're also going to not do our offering the way that we normally would do it with ushers going around with their bags. But what we'll plan on doing is um, having a box set up. And for anybody that wants to come in and, and, and give, they want to give a loose offering or if they want to give of their tithe or anything such as that, they can do that then through that box. Just, just give it in, inside that box. We're also going to have hand sanitizing stations that's set up around the church where you can go and sanitize your hands. We're not going to have the regular meet and greet, but I do believe there's going to be a lot of air high fives that, that are around the church. And, and I encourage you to, to give someone an air high five from across the room if that's what it is that you need to do. Also, our governor has asked that anybody 65 years of age or older, which he considers that to be the vulnerable age, to continue to, to stay at home and watch services online. I have and I will continue to, to put things online so that you can watch our services as well. We want everyone to be safe and we want everyone to, to do what you feel like in your heart is what God is telling you to do. We're also going to provide masks for you when you come in the front door if you feel like that you need a mask. So I truly believe that um, we're all going to be safe. The church has been sanitized, ready to go, and we're excited. Just as David says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. It's an awesome time for us to be able to get ready to go into the house of the Lord. And we're going to get to do that this coming Sunday. And I can't wait. It's going to be a wonderful time of fellowship, a wonderful time for us to be able to see one another. The power of the Holy Spirit is going to move and people are going to be encouraged. I know this. So please prayfully consider whatever God is telling you to do. You won't be condemned if you stay home and don't want to come to service just watch us online continue to support us online and we'll continue to to preach the word we'll continue to pray for you we'll continue to believe god for special things so until this sunday or actually coming this wednesday matter of fact when i go online to to do my wednesday evening bible study uh, i just can't wait and i'll probably share a few more things this wednesday with that as well so be encouraged be lifted up we're praying for you ron and i just know that god has something special for all of us so enjoy your day enjoy your evening whenever you view this video this evening and just know that jesus loves you we love you and we can't wait to get back to church 